Okay, as a result of issues I've had uh, with uh, re with the recording software, this is the this is the fourth time I've had to watch this. In um, I was gonna do I've been trying to do it in sections, but you know what? I'm gonna try and go all the way through because I cannot be fucked. If it fucks up this time, I'm just gonna have to kill myself because I am not watch. This is the fourth time in less than a month I've had to watch this fucking video with this fucking gonk in it and only I can take so much so this is following on from where we left the last one where Tim Paul is moaning about the fact that the Democrats are you know having you know, uh, you know apparently shutting the Republicans out of the of the of the inquiry of the inquiry and the the you know the investigation into Trump's, you know, treason. Now it's uh, it is unusual, but because of the authority they've put it's on not unusual. Cards in front of the doors. I don't like that. I don't think the, the Democrats should be separating other members of Congress from what's happening. I'm not going to say. I like, I like the fact that his complaint here is that the Democrats are acting within their rights. He just doesn't like it. You know. This coming from the side who literally one of the probably the only foundational fucking principle they live by is is you know I'm gonna say I'm gonna say something I'm gonna say something fucking off offensive and horrible and fucking and abusive why because I have the right to I'm gonna walk around with a fucking gun swinging out for swinging off my fucking it like some giant metal replacement dick extension. Why? Because I have the right to. Trump should be subject to an investigation, same as anybody else, and other and, and members of Congress should have access to information, and vice versa. It's, it's same both ways. Because like obviously no one's going to have access to information, are they? You know, you know. Obviously, whatever the Democrats would have found out in the impeachment inquiry, they would have kept to themselves. Just run around going, I know something you don't know. But now you're going to have to convince a Republican why the Democrats have a right to secret hearings. No, their representatives. You, you literally just said they are within their rights. Right. So. Swivel on that one. Hearing about it. Why do I you need will, to convince will. Them? Why? Because in the Senate, where the Republicans have the majority, they're going to block this and not convict Trump. And, then they and they're going to do that anyway. You know, the Republicans block something. It's going to walk away from this, and it's going to make the Democrats look weak and ineffective and throw them off base for 2020, getting into the political argument. All right, let's get into the political argument. Yeah. Um, yeah we've only been doing this 29 minutes. Let's get, in, let's get political. We know that over 50% now of... Uh, oh, this is amazing, this bit. What's about to happen is Tim Paul is about to take the longest possible route he could possibly take in order to unintentionally prove that he prove himself wrong and he doesn't need to right and and he's just going to fucking dance you what watch you know of american watch poll. the master according to Donald Trump. excuse me according to which poll right so there's like 13 and they oh, according to this poll, fucking poll fox news poll clear over poll. sample democrats okay well, you don't like the polls, but the, you show me the polls. I mean, it's very... It's, it's, the, the aggregate oh, is around 43%. That's not true. Uh, <laughs> That's not true. The aggregate is 43%. On impeachment. Morning consult. I think you are made up of 43% aggregate, or at least your fucking brain is. It's just a, just a lump of gravel. Fox right. News, which you think is... You did you... Did, so... so but, but so here's here, here's what I typically do when I use polls because of the problems of 2016, because Nate Silver and Rasmussen are fighting online because Zogby relaunched. You okay. got to check the All methodology right. on these. So polls don't mean anything. Fine. A Let's just bit. assume a, a little bit. A little bit. Just just stop being such a fucking pernickety fucker. Do you want it? You just said he can't use polls. They count a little bit. How much? Right. You just said the aggregate. So let's fucking work this out. Well, all right. It's it's it is it's admittedly tough. Whatever, uh, whatever you want to say, Tim. The, the polls are whatever you want to say. There's, there's people oversampling so so, the polls. 
So here, here's here's the core the, issue, right? No. We're not we're not talking about what I want. We're talking about what's happening. That little that little fucking bite. It's just you know just let's just relive that Sam Cedar Sam Cedar's head turn here. Oh, over so here, so, the polls. So but, here, here's here's the core the, issue, right? The, we're not we're not talking about what I want. We're talking about what's happening in this country. Fox News, for instance, is a bad example. Sam has got the worst. I'm sure it's deliberate, but he's he 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 he's like he's he he always pulls. It's almost like he's trying not to. It's like he he often pulls a face. It reminds me of the the guards in Life of Brian when Michael Palin's Julius Caesar is is getting in their face and saying the name Biggest Dickus, and they're going because according to the New York Post. They opened the Fox fucking New York Post. Eight percent of the people in that survey were Democrats when 36 percent of the country are Democrats, giving an oversampling, which then brings the number down to around 43, which is in line with the aggregate for most other polls. And you don't so think they adjust for that? They, they did not adjust for that. They stated as much. What about the morning console? Point? So so these are all individual polls. I, I, I tend to prefer aggregates, but I'll, but I'll right. entertain well, any individual aggregate? poll Let's for sure. It up. Let's see what the aggregate is. Yeah, do it to it. Do it to it. Um, where would you like to go? Would you tell me what is a legit source? TimPaulPolls.com. Uh, let's see if this real careful. Real confirmation bias.com. He's fucking keyboard man. I'd have fucking strangled the bastard if it if it's a bit. So it's the, the average is fifty two percent. Okay. Do you so see that fifty two? It's not fifty percent according to what part we are. So 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 so. They were both wrong, but he was wrong by more. He said 43. It's taken him four minutes. It's actually yeah. two points higher than I thought it was. Right. right. My, my only concern okay, is... Okay, wait. And nothing. Nothing. Just my only concern. Fuck your concern. You've just sat there going aggregate, aggregate, and then, you go, and then you're just not even fucking selling the fact that you've just made yourself look like an absolute fucking stupid fucking ring sausage. Let me, yeah. let me go now, all right? Because we just did your own little thing here where we unskewed the polls and we found that the majority of Americans do want him impeached. Right. Now, that means... Well done. That, and once this information actually gets more widely disseminated, I think the Democrats are going to do public hearings. I think they're going to release all these things. It behooves them to do so. If they don't, I think they're making a mistake because they're going to want more than 52%, even if they can get it. And when it goes to the Senate, if Mitch McConnell holds a vote, I know he said he has, but the, the people who don't want him to have a vote are Susan Collins and our Cory Gardner and our Sally McMaster. These are people, and, and Jody Ernst, who are very nervous about having to take a vote because they don't want to vote to protect Donald Trump. In fact, there's a lot of Dem Republicans in the House who I think don't want to vote to protect Donald Trump. And so from a political standpoint, everything Tim we nodding. know about 2018 was that negative partisanship drove record numbers of Democrats to vote in an off-year election. Mm -hmm. And negative partisanship is also going to drive them to vote in 2020. Oh, yeah. And oh, so oh, yes. the idea that you can nationalize the race in Senate races and in congressional races by having every Democrat running against a Republican say, did you vote to protect Donald Trump? Who has, as you know, I think you'll acknowledge very bad favorability ratings. And he, he, he doesn't. Yes. According to the New York Times, his favorability is up since the time he was elected. He is still underwater in favorability ratings. But higher than when he got elected. Great. He is still underwater in favorability uh, um, uh, ratings. Um, and d uh, so you're going to have the opportunity for every Senate candidate and every House candidate. Get your fucking keyboard off, you absolute bastard. Candidate say you voted to protect Donald Trump when 52% of the aggregate right. polling at this point. I mean, the really keyboard makes more sense than Tim. He just did like. Yang, 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 yang. Two weeks into this, wow! Right, it's gone up significantly, even amongst Republicans. As it got Trump's, Trump's favorability went oh, down uh, by about four points on 
January 4th, but till today, uh, oh, this, this time is, is way off. What is this? Oh, that's, I'm sorry. Never mind. Continue. RCP gave me the wrong information. Yeah, of course. It's the fucking website's fault, isn't it, Tim? That you're reading the wrong information. It's the internet. No, it's the children that are wrong. Anyways, so um, I think there's a lot of reason to believe that uh, this is going to be very helpful for people running against Republican incumbents. Mm. Because so the support Susan, of Trump or the opposition too. Uh, Susan Collins is going to be in a very difficult position. Jody Ernst is going to be in a very difficult position. That's why she came out and said that there should be, um, uh, you know, full disclosure by uh, by the uh, the White House because she's nervous. And she has reason to be nervous. And Did I you think, see? And I, I think so. That's the argument for its uh, political efficacy. And the idea Did, that the country could get more polarized is absurd, Tim. The country is extremely polarized. It oh, is yeah. not coming together, and that's just the oh, way it yes. is. It's not happening. So, did you see the NRCC uh, polls they released you know, a week or so ago? The NRCC? The yeah, National, National Repu 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 Republican Campaign Committee. Have I seen right? the Republican polls? No, I have not. So the, they're, they're alleging quite the opposite, that in their target districts... You know, Nate around, Silver doesn't read as many fucking polls as this guy. Like, just read as... Have, have a fucking... I mean, you've got too much free time. And I'm a guy who's got a podcast in which he reads out, you know, documents called The Art of Masturbation. And fifteen things you don't know about your penis. That's that, that's me. And I'm telling you, you got too much free time. Brown districts. So two thirds of people believe the Democrats are. I I, I don't want to put words in their mouth, but obsessed with with Trump and impeachment, Tim, and not Tim, focusing on the core issues. You're telling he me is that the you're, core you're issue. Viewing Fox News polls, but you're telling me that I should uh, we should have a conversation based upon the internal polling of the Republican apparatus to get themselves reelected. Yes, because the Fox News poll was specifically called out in you the New York Times and Fox News. You just told me that the and, RCP and, uh, average was 52%. I, I know, and I, I, I agree. It was a good source. You know what? So I'm not asking you about the NRCC Tom because Perez. I'm saying they're true. Tom I'm asking Perez. you about it to get your opinion on what you think about their polling. I, I think that I would not go by what the DCCC says is going to happen in these districts mm -hmm. or... The Republicans. I wouldn't go by either one of those. Okay. I, I think that their job is to spin, put the best spin on this possible. So, what can we really go on that America, uh, that you know, Americans are willing to campaign more so on impeachment? So, uh, actually, let me, let me rephrase this in a better way. What do you mean way. by that? Campaign more so on impeachment. So, and NRCC's claim was that the Republican target, Party is claiming that, that in these target districts. Helpful. Independent voters prefer talking about core issues like the economy, immigration, and health care, but that two-thirds feel the Democrats are too focused on impeachment and Donald Trump himself. You can say that's, that's bunk and irrelevant. Okay, totally fine. I'm asking what can we go on to figure out what they will be voting for specifically? And, and I bring this up, the question I, I mean to well, ask, I, I mean, guess, is we can, when, when— You and I can—I mean, I've already told you. We know that negative and partisanship drove out uh, turnout in 2018— when Donald Trump was even on the ballot, and that uh, Republicans got clobbered in a um, in a uh, like a record-breaking um, off-year election, and like like yeah, unprecedented. So we're expecting yeah. massive turnout for 2020, exactly. which, according to Moody's, if it's historical, Trump loses by by a few electoral votes. Mm -hmm. So and and they were they were here's, even here's they were even right? wrong yeah, with that. It weren't a few. Trump raising 15 million dollars in a day. Specifically off of impeachment. Wow. He, he, he's, you know, I guess they, they're calling it, uh, I forgot what they're calling it, but it's been reported by numerous outlets that Trump has seen a boon among his base, similar to the Kavanaugh effect. In 2018, who's moderate Kavanaugh, Kavanaugh effect? effect? You mean the thing that happened a month before the Democrats. Is, is that even a thing? I've never heard anyone but him mention this. Against the Republicans. So specifically, it, the Kavanaugh effect refers to state level and how that'll affect the presidency. Not He not, thinks it exists, but districts. it doesn't. It's actually no, the so Mandela effect, 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 which isn't even real in the first place. The Kavanaugh hearing, which the, took The place. senators who lost and the gains made in the Senate for Republicans, yes. Those were all it's, red it's the, 
The Kavanaugh effect isn't referring to the, the, the losses, right? So the Kavanaugh effect isn't referring to Congress. It was specifically that at, at the state level, which more ac accurately reflects presidential elections, the Kavanaugh effect re uh, resulted what do you mean by in the state level? senators versus Congress districts. Right? Those were all red red states. Where the where the Democrat, states. yeah, the blue the, the the red state Democrats got got kicked out for not supporting Kavanaugh. Yeah, those Kavanaugh. were all states that Donald Trump won. In so they didn't gain anything, is what you say. Right, so so then I guess the argument is that it was inevitable Trump was going to win those states over in 2018. Was it inevitable that those uh, senators were going to lose? Yeah. Yeah. Well, then, so why would we assume that anything's going to change if the track is, is, is staying you know, solid oh, except think, for the scandals? I think, I think red states, I think it's going to be, yeah, I think uh, he's going to win uh, red states. But in purple states? And Did you see the Moody's states, analytics? And anywhere where there is Moody's an analytics R five district uh, or less, I did think you see uh, the Moody's? That no, I did. You're talking about states where the partisan index is something like uh, you know. Funnily enough, I missed that one. Did, did Did you see Moody's recent analytics release on the, on the projections for 2020? No. They're saying with an average voter turnout, Trump handedly wins. With low voter turnout, Trump sweeps nearly 400 electoral votes, mm -hmm. and only with a historical high will the Democrats well, secure 279 you know votes. So yes. Moody's is and saying so, Trump is going to cruise through. And if that's the case, if Moody's yeah. is right, then how? Then the key is you need to motivate the Democratic base. Now, when the Democrats opened up this session of Congress, they passed 60 pieces of legislation that were a wish list. For Democratic voters, we barely heard about this. Yeah, absolutely, they want Democrats. We barely heard about it. The news report yep. barely reported on it. Yes, uh, no McConnell, idea what he's talking about. Allow a single one of those to take a vote. I think. Did you report like on those, Tim? No, you didn't. Did you? Having a vote. Yeah. And so, if we take your uh, your the, the the thing that you have presented from Moody's as gospel, which is that we need to have an unprecedented turnout by Democrats to win then it only makes sense that you should deliver for the Democrats who want to come out. And they are all saying, in, in, in massive numbers, yep. impeach Donald Trump. So I think you've strengthened my argument, at least in terms of the politics. Now, But not moderates. What moderates? Moderate. Moderate voters that make up 60 plus percent of the country. He doesn't mean moderates. He means or independents. Oh, sorry, and this is a. You're looking at, but he seems to think independent means the, moderate, the, the, which, considering the, the, he's voted for Trump the, now, and he's a full blown Trump supporter, I don't know what that makes him in his mind. The Democratic wave in 2018, she got it down to almost the exact number of seats that they were going to pick up four to five months out. And uh, she says that paradigm that you're talking about. Where there is somehow these swing voters, uh, yep. I presumably that's what you mean by moderate. Pew, Pew Research: uh, thirty-eight percent are uh, independent. Well, that's right. She See, says that's those not moderate. It could be fucking anybody. Democrat or lean Republican, and the yes, question isn't whether right. the question isn't whether or not they're going to be persuaded to switch the way that they lean. The question is, are they going to come out and vote? And she says the same thing that motivates uh, people who are solidly Democrat uh, motivates those who lean Democrat. Same with the Republicans. The same things that, mod that, that motivate um, definite Republicans also uh, motivate lean Republicans. Lean. And so the I'm idea is leaning on the that, lamppost in the um, corner of the street. What you call independents or moderates. Um, I, I think moderate is probably a misnomer, but... Um, these independents, these less likely people to vote, although we know if they vote, we can predict how they'll vote. The question is, will they come out? And negative oh, partisanship uh, drives those people. And that's why that also reinforces um, uh, my theory that impeachment is going to, to hold uh, to help. Because we know that these, uh, if you look at, you know, the, the independents, Go back to that uh, real clear politics poll. Mm. You will see that at least uh, over the past two or three weeks, the uh, appetite for impeachment has gone up by 20, over 20 percent with those folks, too. And so 20%, this is what's going to drive one fifth people out of each person or a whole Ben Shapiro. Uh, I, 
I guess maybe you have an alternate theory to this. Of course he does. Um, but well, I no. don't know what it would be. It's okay. You know, he hasn't worked it out yet, probably. The, the metrics uh, that you have set up would be I think, consistent with this. I, you know, I, there, there are some other polls I could cite, but for the interest of where we've, we, we're at with polling being like, you know, I'll put it this way. You're, you're citing your expert. I'm citing mine, and in the end, here we go. It's no, all. It's no, all. You know, I'm citing mine. We're all fucking. Sure. You know, again, it's, it's just this is a this is a this is a concession. You want aggregate. It's just a concession that he's got nothing. For the sake of where we're at in the conversation, and he, he has to resort to you know oh, your guess is as good as mine. But I, I can't. You would be refuting what you said five minutes ago, which was well, so which for a guy who's so fucking sure he's right about this fucking. Let's try to try to be not. Not that strong. The specific issue I had with the Fox News poll was that it was highlighted specifically in a political partisan dispute over its methodology. Well, and that I would prefer we to up. look at an aggregate when it comes to impeachment. Right. And when, it, when it comes we to, were able to do that, I'd rather look at a baboon's yeah, ass than your fucking well, face. And you're really. absolutely correct. Uh, I, that my, 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 my concern was the partisan nature of the, of the argument, right? Are we going to get to something substantive where a Republican's going to say, I can't argue with that? Well, of course we're that. fucking not. What planet do you live on? You don't have to. Like, what world do you live in where you fucking, you know, you go, someone's going to go, oh, you know what? You've got me there. No. You can't argue with it. Right? No, I mean, that's, we that, know. That's what, that's what I'm talking we, about. Look, we know the Republican Party is not going to buck Donald Trump. We know this. They're not going to. Their voters right. uh, love Donald Trump. I think Donald Trump's right. I think he could yeah. shoot someone on Fifth Avenue, <laughs> and they would vote for him. And uh, I think that's the nature of our politics. Uh, it yep. is. He could shoot Tim Pool and probably get his fucking numbers. Could, probably could have swung a few more mi- m- votes in other, other way. Hopelessly polarized. And so the question is, how do you react to that? So I'll tell you why uh, I voted for Obama. Oh, please I didn't do. Vote for him the second time didn't because of the war issue, and I was put off. I voted for nobody. Uh, but I'm you not voted vote. for nobody. Yeah. How did they do? Democrat in 2020 for sure. I'm definitely not voting for any Republicans. That's, I, that's I'm definitely not voting for any Republicans. Further out of the question. That's the further out of the, the question. The far left. So at this point, a year ago, Tim Paul's position was he was not voting for a Democrat, but that was more likely than voting for a Republican. Push from the Democrats has worm. put me in an awkward position. Weasley little where even fucking my worm. family has rejected Democrats at this point. So his family's family rejected Democrats. Well, I mean, I don't know why you're fucking. Did you hear that, Democrats? What is the point in even turning up? You've fucking when you've lost the pool demographic. When you've lost the pool family fucking vote. We, we owned a business in Boys Town. No one Boys. gives a fucking shit about your family or what they're doing. They're not relevant. Far left. I mean, I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure. If I don't want to. I'm, I'm pissed off enough that I know about your existence. I don't want to know about the fucking human beings who contributed to the genetic mass in front of me now. Fucking how many millions of years of evolution took us to get to this fucking crap here? Citizens, for example, right? That's like the, that, that was the big one they did on the debate. Healthcare for non-citizens. Right, because until you've got citizenship, you're just going to have to die. You know, everyone else should just be... You know, And this is pre-COVID, remember. But just think about that, you know. One of the reasons, Tim, you know, it's a good idea is if someone, say, got into the country let's say, and they had something like COVID-19, you know, it might be a good idea that you have, you know, that you get them in a hospital. You know, but again, he's palming this fucking, again, this is Tim arguing a point that's not his because he's trying, this is his mum. Like Sam Seed is debating Tim Paul's mum vicariously through him. Healthcare to to non citizens. Right. Okay. They all raised their hand saying they were gonna do it. So I'll give you I'll give you an example. My mom is on government benefits. Fucking lazy bitch. Why doesn't she stop welching off the state and get off her ass and get a fucking job? Terrifying to her when she sees them saying we're, our budgets are running thin, you're we're cutting, and it's we're also terrifying start a portion to of what her. you get to non citizens. Really? 
people like my mom, who are historical Democrats in Chicago, gasp and call me panicking, saying, what's happening? Am I going to lose my health care? And I'm, I don't know. Well, then you should well, you, What do you mean her... you don't know? Has the policy been, you know, you know, it's not we're going to give non-citizens health care at the expense. We can only give, you know, there's only a finite amount of health care. You know, some of you are going to have to give it up, uh, you know, in order, you know, to. And that means the old have to die first. It's not a terrible policy. Uh, to hope for um, a Bernie Don't vote Sanders. for a Democrat because they're, they're all Bernie pledging Sanders. to give it away. No, Bar Bernie Sanders will, uh, <laughs> will make sure it's that It's not give it away. Has, it's uh, expand the number of people who can have it. That, like, uh, it's like This is a far left push in his eyes. You know, the party that wants to make sure that everyone in the country, if they get sick, can get better much quicker. Um, your mo Bernie Sanders is, is uh, I mean, I'm not sure what kind of assistance she's on, but uh, it's, I think it's, Bernie it's, it's Sanders nothing is serious, quite, right? She's just, you know, uh, oh, it's nothing committed. serious. So, uh, you know, I mean, she's only my mum. So, you know what? Fuck her, stupid, mad old bitch. To um, expanding uh, that type of. Is, is she dying of shame, Tim? You know, you know, because she has to explain to people that, yes, you know, you are, her, yes, that's my son. You know. Because I hope it is. If it is possible to die of shame, you know, your parents are at bumper sticker level. Our son is a warbly, weebly, we whinging little bald, slap-headed fucking... Little, you know, whiny little, you know, incel fascist on the internet. I mean, he's but how can you to... afford it if Bernie Sanders is also pledging to give it to non-citizens and we had a million come in this year alone? Because you've got no money. I mean, it's not like you could take money from elsewhere or you could, you know, raise taxes on certain groups, you know. Um, how much do you think that's going to cost? So, yeah, so right now, it? Universal... 14 million, billion, billion squillion, zillion dollars. 30 trillion over 10 years. So three trillion a year. Well done, That's Tim. Correct. Yes. And do you know well, how we much? added we added thirty divided by ten is three. So far. And do you know how much we spend on health care as it is now it's, over the ten years? If we do not, it's thirty-two we have trillion. That we have now it's thirty-two trillion dollars. So, so the, the concern I'm saying is not that we can't afford it, but we can't afford it if we're having an influx of non-citizens who didn't. Well, you're saying we can't afford it then. Where do you think? Well, first off, why would you think non-citizens would not be paying into it? How do you think they get into the system? Well, one of the because he's equating non-citizens with illegal false, immigrants, uh, refugees, and asylum seekers. Because they're concerned about deportation. And but what do they do they can with receive those, benefits well, with those numbers. Well, would he, but they also pay into it with those numbers. No, they're concerned about going to an employer with information that could result in their deportation. I understand, but right. that money goes into the system. If I go give my employer... If one of the people who works for me, for instance, gives me a fake social security number, Matt Lick, he's definitely. still going to pay those social security taxes. <laughs> he's still got to pay those social security taxes. So he's let's say right now, right? So I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you, I'll, I'll, I'll try and give you an analogy to break down what I mean. Let's now this, right this is not an analogy. What he's about to do, this is not even, this isn't even applicable. It makes no sense. When compare in compare it when with what he's compared, it's not an. You don't need to do an analogy. We know what you're saying. Because you don't get it, you'll never get it. This is this is Billy Crystal trying to explain to Daniel Stern in fucking City Slickers how to program the VCR. It's that scene, but over the course of a hundred minutes. I have a hundred bucks in your bank account. And every month you spend a hundred on healthcare and put a hundred back in between you and your friends who pull together. One day someone comes into the country or comes into your house without having paid anything into your bank account and then requires money from that account. What sort of fucking world do you live you know someone there will be a deficit. You how do I mean? they um how do Well it'd be like it'd be like, be like what the fuck are you doing in my house? Have you paid? How did they require money from that account? Like if, you, if somebody, so California recently passed a law that... See, see Tim doesn't live in a world where people who aren't citizens work. 
26 who are non-citizens have access to government-funded health care. That means you can come literally across the border right now, go to a hospital, get the program you need, and then leave. What do you who, th- who does that? Who, who fucking sits there and goes, I need to go to the hospital quick. Let's make a mad dash across the border illegally into America. Find the nearest hospital, get treatment, and fucking run back. Who does that? think happens if someone is in an emergency room situation and goes into the emergency room do you think they yeah that's that's that, that's so trump's trying to end that you're right yeah okay so but it's, it's existing it's, now it's, it's for so medical it's existing bed. cost that exists now and i'm telling you that uh medicare for all including the free health care for uh non-citizens will be cheaper and this is according to the makata study which is a right-leaning uh think tank Will be two trillion dollars cheaper over the course of those. Uh, will it be cheaper for me personally? Years? I pay nothing. Yes, it'll save you one pound seventy-five. Right now, I don't have to go to the hospital. It will pay you pay nothing, and you just ask, will it save you anything personally? What do you want us to do? Give you money back? You pay nothing. Will it be cheaper for you personally? Yeah, I don't have to pay anything because I don't have to go to the hospital. I'm young and healthy. Well, it can't possibly save you money personally if you're paying nothing to begin with. Okay, well, you're. I'm young and healthy. This is a guy who, in case you didn't know, as you can see over his uh, over his left shoulder, is a skateboarder. He's the dorkiest fucking skateboarder there fucking is. This is why I took skateboarding up to try and make it, try and balance out the damage this fucker's done to it. This is a skateboarder. You know. Which is, a, which you know, for those who don't know, skateboarding is an activity, is an endeavour, where one of the first things you learn at your tour is how to fall off and, and, and not break every bone in your body, because that's what you're going to do. There is no one in, no skateboarder in their right mind would sit there and go, oh, I'm, I'm young and healthy, nothing's going to happen to me. I mean, Christ almighty. Going to be young and healthy in the future. So, what do you well, give me a time horizon? Will it be cheaper for you? Tim in the next Paul, the picture of youth and health. Ten minutes, or will it be cheaper for you over the course of your lifetime? I'm 33. I imagine when I'm my 40, hairline is 57. Uh, I'll start needing, you know, a couple checkups. So maybe around the time I'm 50, I'll need more dedicated healthcare. So. Have you ever considered you might have an accident, Tim? You know, I have quite a lot on my own. 20 years? My costs are going to go up for the next couple of decades. Who talks like this about healthcare? Like, I'll probably need some checkups in, tw- in you know, when I, in a, in four- when I turn 40. And when I'm... Because this is our fucking... I mean, who gets sick? Who, who gets sick before they're 50? Nobody. Right. And then I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, listen, listen I... I it's not, and like, I, I got to admit, I'm actually in favor of, uh, of you know, uh, government-funded health programs. But I lean more towards a public option. Why are we having this argument, then? For the sake of competition and for a weaning towards a universal system well, as opposed you know, to an outright universal system. My concern is the non-citizen... Wean- we- he wants us to wean towards a universal system as opposed to an outright universal system. Because, you know, health care... You know, because... You know, private healthcare companies, you know what they're like? They're like fucking... They're like opium. I understand. Oh, oh, well, I so, understand. You don't like... Right, so, so, you, you don't like poor brown people you getting you know, getting better. It's, it's, money, it's, 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 you can't, you it's can't just really that. give me a number. You just think it's principally in principle wrong. I, well, not necessarily. No, I think if you know if somebody came into this country and they were dying, we do it. We, we have to help them. We have an obligation morally. Oh, if they're dying, you know, you have to be dying. Who's gonna fucking gummy? You know, you have to be dying. And how do you know whether? Or, how do you find out whether or not they're dying, Tim? What if you think they're dying, but they've got to go to the hospital, haven't they? Because they might lie. They might. 
Or they might just be, they might, they, how would they know whether they're dying or not? You don't know until someone goes to the hospital. I think the issue is... Crazy. Look, are you terminal? No. You, look, you want spare parts? Look, I've got Dave Rubin right over here. Structure and institutionalization that says you can come here. I mean, you had, you had, you had Castro saying decriminalize the border crossings. And then they offered up programs. And then you have Ocasio-Cortez recently announcing full access to federal benefits for all non-citizens, regardless of immigration status. Yeah. To me, that is, that is so far past the line. In terms it doesn't of mean they're all going to claim them, Tim. It means they have access to them if they're there. It doesn't mean they're going to go straight into it. They're not going to turn up, sign on the dull, fucking go, you know, spend their whole day just going to the hospital and, you know, phoning the Coast Guard up and fucking... Do, what, how many public services can we fucking take advantage of? Left in this country... You are act advocating for people to come in here without penalty. and then But they don't, Tim. That's the point. All the data shows that's not the case. You know, this is the, this is just a, based on a hypothetical that doesn't reflect reality. It's like when Nigel Farage used to say about the EU. It's like, as long as we're a member of the EU and we have freedom of movement, you know, the whole of Belgium could turn up tomorrow. In, I mean, yeah, hypothetically they could. But they're not things that I'm paying for, right? Well, and uh, they're paying for it too. I mean, they pay into social well, security. Eventually they'll pay for it. No, no, We're no. hoping. We're hoping. No. Uh, Tim, just do a little research on this and you will find that immigrants, no, non, no. Uh, undocumented immigrants, right. pay into social security. The only difference is now they don't get it. They don't get it back. They don't collect. So, so eventually, right? So it's an inflationary system where we have to hope that we keep having more people coming in to pay for those who came in last time, right? Or who are coming no. in now, I'm sorry. No, they they don't... They, like, he doesn't they get it. Now, He'll pay never pay get it. Collect on Social Security. So if we create a system that says you can cross the border without penalty, without He's, criminal That penalty, stuffed right. dog behind him can fu has fucking understood this. Do you this. not think there will be people who come into this country and get benefits and don't pay in? Do I think there'll be people who, 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 who get benefits and don't pay Are there going to be people who break the law? Oh, well, yes. And what about people who come in and almost immediately get benefits or become a, a taxpayer burden without having a chance to have paid into anything because we've decriminalized border A burden. Um, I think that it's possible there will be very some small numbers of people doing that, yes. Is it, can we create a system where we incentivize by saying... like so, so, for example, you have people coming from the... Can we incentivize people... The incentive is already there. That's why they're coming. They're coming. They're going to your country because that's the, the incentive is already there. They're not just fucking bored. They didn't just get on the wrong bus and fucking end up there. You know. Idiot. And I don't understand how this is an argument the left has made. I could fucking sit here, you know. There's a book, you know, there's a book coming out called List of Things Tim Paul Doesn't Understand. It's basically the dictionary with a different cover. They've, there, there's literally, doc, it's been documented across the board. Congo to Angola to Brazil, up through Central America. And to Congo to Angola to Brazil. Just like that. Congo... Angola, Brazil. You know, Croydon, Calais, Botswana. It's been documented, you know. You know, Warsaw, Kuwait, Sydney, Australia. You know, simple. To the US border demanding refugee status. That's not a refugee, I'm sorry. That's, that's not a refugee. Right? Maybe they're not refugees. They're not all refugees. So what you're saying is these people have made have come too far. They've made too much of an effort. You can't be a refugee can only come from a place that's literally, you know, 
half, half a marathon away from the border. That was thousands of dollars for a family to travel. Now. Oh my God, thousands of dollars. Because of course, if you've got thousands of dollars, which literally, by the way, is a minimum of two, and you use that money, you know, a few thousand dollars, Tim, I hate to fucking break it to you, is not a lot of money. And who can, and, you know, I mean, God, I can't get to, I couldn't get to America, you know, you know, I, you know, I, you know, I could, there, you know, I could probably get to like some, you know, I could get to some, uh, you know, to some places on the East Coast, but if I want to go, if I went, wanted to go to, let's say, anywhere on the East Coast or, you know, uh, on the West Coast, I'd have to, you know, I'd have to go by plane because I ain't swimming or getting a boat, obviously. And I, you know, I can't just pop down the road to Angola where apparently there's this Stargate that just takes you straight over to fucking Brazil. All of that. And Brazil is beautiful and safe. So how, oh, how does this Brazil, beautiful. Open, open the door beautiful, are... beautiful and safe. Brazil, yeah. Wonderful. They haven't got any issues over there in Brazil. There's, why would anyone? Because the only time you see Brazil is when they've got they've got a fucking parade on, you know, and they're all dancing around, you know, with their fucking, you know, all the women with their with their knockers hanging out, you know. Are coming from Africa, through all of these different countries where they were already safe. So the challenge, the problem I then see is... Where they're already safe. Why do you think they're... Do you think they're literally... Do, do you think that they, you know, that they don't go through these countries and think, hey, this this place seems... You know, why do you think they're going to America? It, you know, is, is, is it just to wind you up? Because I hope so. I honestly hope so. I would love it if all of these people would happily... They'd have happily stopped... You know, two continents back. You know, they would have happily done that. But you know what? It's worth the extra few thousand miles. Gaffer tape to the underside of a fucking of of of, of a fucking lorry just to just to annoy you. Uh, Tim, I don't have a problem with immigrants coming into this country. Uh, if uh, the, someone goes through the refugee process, which is incredibly stringent and laborious, and uh, they are adjudicated as deserving of refugee status, I think they should have the refugee status. Even I if mean, they've bypassed safe countries? They've spent yeah. thousands of dollars? What are we supposed to do? Like, I mean, you qualify as a refugee, but, uh, but we feel you've, you know, you, you've gone through, you know, that you, you've gone through there. You know, we feel that you could have stopped there, you know. And so we want you to turn back. Is this going to be the policy? The further someone has travelled, the less likely they are. Yeah. If they, how, if, so don't you think that's taking advantage of us? Taking advantage of us? What do you mean? Right, so if you pay $6,000 to bring your family through... Oh, it's $6,000 now to go through seven countries. That's it. Like he's work. He knows this. This is at. This is the. This is your standard rate. They're just fucking making it rain, aren't they? In different countries to come to the United States, right? That's not a refugee. I'm sorry. I well, mean, like, I, mean, I, I get it. I get it. You can go. I just say, I, process, I don't right? know if it's a refugee either. It, it, it's it's adjudicated, and if the right. uh, and if they're found to be refugees, that they uh, that they have maybe more opportunity here because maybe they have family or whatnot um then i i have no problem with that i mean but i don't even have a problem with it uh frankly uh you know for the most part i yeah. I, would... I mean you do know tim that there are people who emigrate to america who go to live in america who come from actual who don't come from impoverished countries like there are people who are european who go and live in America, there are people. There are people from Britain and Australia. There are people from fucking the Canadians. You know, why aren't you bothered about them? 
they're people who are coming from a country that's you know it's, it's pro- probably safer than America. No, you're worried about the geezer who's managed to you know who's who's managed to traverse you know three different fucking hemispheres. I would take in as almost as many immigrants as we could. You don't think that there's like an infrastructure capacity? Like, I'll I'll give you an example. New York. Is there a capacity? No, Tim. I think we can just keep. You know, it's like it's going to be like a fucking. You know, it's going to be like Mogwise. You know, we'll just stand people on. We'll just have a second floor. We'll have America, and then America floor one. I would not only I would take them in. I would I would have a much easier process for legalization. So. Well, using New York as an example, their metro system is... is the metro less, system right? in New York. They can't afford to fix it, and it's overcrowded. Can we no, they can to afford to fix it. Metro system? Yes. We but can, it's already on the verge of collapse. As federal, right. we, as yes, the metro system in New York is about to collapse. I agree with that, but, I mean, at what point, you know, you scale that up, at what point do you reach critical mass? I think you spend what you need to spend to maintain the system. So... We have a massive deficit right now, right? Correct. Fuck's sake. We can afford to spend more money as it is? That's, that's yes. Right. I, how Most of your sense? debt is you owe well, to yourself. Uh, spending is the way that governments work. We print our Let's, own money. Uh, but, but, money I'll, 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 most I'll, of the I'll, money that we owe, we owe to see, ourselves. I even... That's see, true. Sam and, just and said... See, I think where, we, where we're you at so not, far And he's Jewish. Just, we have opinions, and I, I don't think you're wrong. I just think... Here we go we again. It's your and opinion, my opinion, yeah, blah, blah, blah. We'll figure it out. Yes, but, you but are I, very concerned about uh, immigrants coming in and taking advantage of you. I'm, I'm not concerned about immigrants at all. Um, I'm actually very... I, I'm oh, very my God! Immigrants, period. This my is this is the Tim Pool shuffle, isn't it? It's like, this is the these are the points, by the way, that other people are making... You know, it's not my argument, it's someone else's. This is what other people... Then I'm going to sit here and argue it. I'm going to let you refute every point. I'm going to sit there and go there until I concede and then go, yes, you know, I, I'm not too bothered about it. And, th- and then you just end by saying, oh, I'm actually not too bothered about it. Documented. We can't, when, when we can't control for the shape of our economy. And then we have, you know, we budget shortfalls. And over- you economy. won't be able to move for like Budget shop, shortfalls, overspending, and, well, look, and I mean, on, so, the state, on the state level, um, they don't have the ability to print their own money. That's a problem. But well, no, no, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a better example. Uh, I'll if, give you a better example. Why didn't you give us that one first? Why did you start with the less good, the shitter example? And I guarantee you, this ain't going to be any better. We, If we have an influx of a million people, like we did this year, if they go to areas that we can't... How many people to... leave? You don't know. No. It's un, un, you know, undocumented. We don't know who's going where. Then we're not. Going but it's to... not a million undocumented people. It's a million people coming in. How many people fucking emigrate from America? How many people... So, so you know, US... USA immigration rate. So emigration from the United States. See, no real exact figures, but diddly do. Twenty sixteen, did he do? Increase four weeks. Apparently there's nine million people that you know. Yeah. US civilian population overseas could be up to nine million. There you go. There you go. Take them in. There you go. You're eight million in the black. Not the black, not that black. Forget it. FEMA spending properly. We're not going to appropriate federal budgets. Uh, if you want to join me level. in saying that we should award uh, citizenship to these folks so that we can have a proper census uh, and, uh, and and make it easier to assess where we have needs, I am down for that totally. I'm I'm, f- I'm personally for uh, path to citizenship for everybody. Okay. Wow. You sure everybody, Tim? Well, even the bad people. 
we have to get our we have to get a hold on on immigration so we don't create create a pipeline of incentives where we put people on risky journeys. Yeah, we don't want pe- we don't want to give people a reason to come here. Here, you see what I mean? We want it to be like Takeshi's well, I, castle. I, I don't think that it's a question of incentives. I think it's a question of what's going on in those countries. I mean, Honduras, Nicaragua, El Salvador, these are incredibly dangerous places now. Mexico's not. Um, no, this is obviously why... Me- then why do you need to build a wall? Why are so many Mexicans coming over to America? Again, are they just doing it for a fucking giggle? Are they just bored? Is it some sort of... Is it, is it just, a, like you know... There must be a reason why that wall's being built. No, Mexico City is amazing. Like, why? Why not stay there? They were even there. There was even a, a, a video well, that went viral. It's none of your fucking business. That Mexico has more capacity to absorb uh, these folks than we do. Because Mexico actually planned it out and offered it to them, and they denied it. We are so, a in, much wealthier country than Mexico. I mean, Mexico is particularly wealthy. So, it's, so hold on, hold on. Let's let's, let's assess that, right? For much sake. It's wealthier. I mean, I don't. If, like, so but that's but that's, 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 that's but you're not argu- you're, sorry, you're arguing something different now. If we're arguing that someone should be safe because the places are, are dangerous, Mexico I'm, offered no, no. them safety. I was arguing that it's not a question. They're coming here because of incentives. Uh, they're uh, they're leaving those countries because it's dangerous there, and mm. they may have they may have more opportunity in the United States, frankly, than they would in Mexico. I mean, have you been to Mexico City? Sure. I mean, it's it's industrialized and beautiful and could certainly expand and, and outlying areas to, to, to pass through three or four countries. But also, to, to like, uh, I'll use the more extreme example is Angola you know, and Congo. You know, Brazil, for Congo. instance. Congo. Do you know in the Congo, they, they, you know, they, they drink and bongo, apparently. It's, it's an urban myth. Beautiful, industrialized Sao Paulo. I don't have Sao a Paulo. Brazil. Or Congo, Congolese or anybody. You know, I, I think that we have the ability to absorb uh, far more immigrants than we 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 are now, and uh, I think it strengthens the country. I think all the evidence shows that it helps our economy. Um, and so, why don't you fuck off and go I live there then? Countries. What about what about the other countries? The countries they leave are left, you know. With I love the problems. fact that people who are anti-immigration have taken this new tact of of, of showing, you know, of saying that we, you know, it's not that they don't want foreign foreigners coming over here. They don't. It's not that they they don't want immigrants over here because they're xenophobic racist. No, it's because they they they're concerned that this will have a negative impact on the countries that are leaving. Or maybe they should be better countries. You know, tough fucking, as far as, what about the countries they're leaving? Tough fucking shit, say I. All the brain drain or with... You, you, you know, know about the brain drain, mate. And, and workers. I mean, it's easy to say we can absorb them because they can do work here. But what about the places where people can't leave? And Fuck them. Like, they'll just get worse. Why? Like, so so my, 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 my situation here is, how do we, what's the root of the problem? How do we solve it? Just taking people in. The root, you, you are the fucking root of the problem. You're the root of fucking. You are at the. You're the bulb in the fucking ground, bruv. You are the. You're the fucking root of it, mate. Rich, you can come here. Tim, uh, we're, we're sort of far afield here. I mean, you were telling me that your parents aren't going to vote. Yeah, for, do you remember that conversation four years ago? Uh, the Democrats, because we're taking in, we're we're we're, uh, we're giving uh, undocumented well, immigrants. We're giving them health care. Well, no, no. No, non-citizens health care. Do you well, want me to say stop. what should we do for the Congo? I mean, yeah. that's, that's uh, what do we, yeah, this is where the debate needs to go. What, what can we do to make, Cong, make the Congo better? Absolute bollocks.